Ahoy there, ain't there? The captain here, or should I say, Tony, the cheer captain is here. Woo! I'm in the spirit. Yes, I am. I got my pom-poms right here. I'm in the pretty empowered spirit here. Yep, pretty empowered. Ella Envy and the Page Sisters, Kinsey and Kylie. I, it's been a while since I've done this, but uh, here's a channel update. And it is, as of, as, when I'm, as of the time of recording this, April 18th of 2024. Giving you a channel update. But uh, let's get the bad news out of the way first. And uh, for those of you that have been uh, watching my socials, due to mental health issues and personal issues, I'm going to be taking going on hiatus on my radio show, Captain's World. You know what? Ain't nothing more important than mental health, and so that's exactly what I'm, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Unfortunately, I'm not going to go into any any uh, details on my personal issues, but uh, the one thing that I will say is that ain't nothing more important than your mental health because don't know nothing kept nothing carry faster faster to the grave than not taking care of your mental health, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. It gives me some time to refresh and you know do, uh, knock out these personal issues that I've been having. And uh, before you know it, I'm shooting for late August, early September that I'm going to be back on the air. But um, that is, if fall goes according to plan, fingers crossed on as far as that's concerned. But now that that's out of the way, um, just want to give you an update on my um, on my gaming channel, Captain's Arcade. And uh, that the uh, bad news kind of parallels into my main channel because uh, I sometimes post content on my on my main channel regarding my radio show Captain's World, but as far as Captain's Arcade is concerned, hope everyone's enjoying my content, and the past three seasons have been uh, have been outstanding, and I'm proud to announce that, I, um, I know it's not much, but it is a big deal to me that I'm proud to announce that since starting this channel back in 2021, I've reached 100 channel, 100 subscribers, I've reached 101 as of the time of this recording, so that deserves a pom-pom shake in of itself, yeah, yeah, woo! Boys love these big fluffy ones that they used back in the that the cheerleaders used used back in the 70s and 80s, and I'll send um, Super Pom the biggest big special shout and a big super big, big pom pom shake to Super Pom for providing me these poms as seen at WrestleCade 2023. Will they appear in WrestleCade 2024? Who knows? But all I know is that I'm going to be heading to WrestleCade 2024. I punched my ticket. That's a guarantee right there. But uh. But anyway, as far as my gaming channel is concerned, um, due to my personal issues and everything, um, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be trying to give the Tiller Tournament another go here. And the, the Tiller Tournament is named after my good friend Michael Tiller, who passed away a year and some change ago. And I so want, wanted to do this tournament of Big League Soccer Baseball in his honor. And I also want to send a big special shout out to Eric Lima, Eric Lima shenanigans of 1977 for semi-inspiring this tournament. Um, and uh, this was originally called the uh, Sean Atkinson Memorial Tournament in honor of Royal Derby legend Sean Atkinson, whom I first, whom I first saw back in uh, back in Roller Jam back in 1999, and uh, he passed away back in 2019. So I did originally did, did that in his honor. Episodes were recorded, but never uploaded due to my personal issues and uh, my busy schedule on top of that so I did so um, but in the wake of Michael Tiller the founder of the game show temples passing I thought I wanted to honor him and the Tiller tournament is named after um, a series of a series of tournaments that uh, that took place on his podcast called game show temple live provided by blog talk radio and I wonder who still uses blog talk radio nowadays but anyway, um, so there's that. And as far as uh, Captain's Arcade is concerned, I think I got I got somewhat of an idea of uh, what I'm going to be including for season four. Yes, I'm making plans for season four. I would have started filming episodes for season four right about now, but unfortunately, due to my busy schedule and uh, my personal issues, I'm lagging behind, and I'm lagging lagging behind on um, on the tournament episodes are filmed, but not too knee deep, but um, try to bear with me as best as possible as far as that's concerned. Now, like I said, I have some ongoing personal issues, and um, we'll just, I'll just have to continue the best I can. I'm just taking it one day at a time. 
And I also want to say, take Captain's RK to the next level thanks to the masterclass provided by Kev on stage. I'm also behind on that due to the obvious, but I'm going to get back on track and I'm going to be making uh, fulfilling that um that New Year's resolution. I'm starting to make New Year's resolutions that I'm going to be intending to keep. I can guarantee you that. And uh, speaking of um, and um, one of the elements that as far as RetroShop is concerned of um, RetroMania Wrestling, which is, I guess you could say, a direct sweet sequel to WWF WrestleFest, my all-time favorite arcade game. They're doing what Cody did, and that is finishing the story. <laughs> and uh, that's based off of an inside joke, which basically was put on the map by, by Eric Lima's friend, Jordy Scow, who by the way, is trying to become a wrestler. I want to send a big special shout-out to Eric Lima of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, and I also want to send a big special shout-out to Jory Scow. And um, as far as I know, as far as the um, inside joke is concerned, it um, originated by this uh, regular panelist on one of the podcasts. I think it was either the Popcorn Panel podcast or... or, um, or not bubbles on it's not bubbles on sofas, but it's one of those podcasts, and he's uh he's he was like finish the story or something like that, and um but uh Jordy Scout ran with it, and so that became an inside joke. This will be an inside joke that I always remember. I, I want to send a big special shout out to Jordy Scout for allowing me on uh, his live reaction for night two of WrestleMania 40. That uh, eased the pain of my personal issues a little bit, but but still. I went in there having no intentions of watching WrestleMania 40 at all, but due to due to the obvious, the uh, my personal issues, I decided to go ahead and uh, do a live reaction to that since I already have um, since I already have Peacock. So um, so that was that was a that was an interesting experience right there. And um, George Scal, aka J Man's legit. He's a uh, co-founder and co-producer and co-panelist and co-host of um, the Rant Ray podcast and he's um, also part of the popcorn panel on the David Grudowson network and um, I'll send a big special shout out to David St. Dennis for sending me an invitation if you would to one of his tapings of the, of his game shows but um, David St. Dennis if you're watching this right now I can't promise you, promise you that I'll be at every single one of your tapings, but I'll try to make it to at least one one of your tapings. Uh, but like I said, due to my busy schedule and everything, and um, and this, that, and the third. But um, I do uh, appreciate the invitation there. And um, I found, if it weren't for Eric Lima, I wouldn't have known who, um, would, I wouldn't have been a regular viewer of Rant and Ray, the Rant and Ray podcast. And um, same goes, goes with MBG Productions. And, um, yeah, MVG Productions, he always promotes that, Eric Lima. And he always promotes both of us on the sofas, and I want to send a big special shout-out to them as well. And um, he always, always promotes, he's all, he's also the main co-host of the Dugout Crew podcast, and um, where, he, where he talks all things, where he and um, some other friends talk talk all things baseball. And um, I've I'm, I'm been to... Uh, I've been viewing, um, I've been a viewer of, um, of Eric Lima, Eric Lima's work for a mighty long time, and he's showing no signs of stopping, and I want to send a shout out to him for promote, for promoting such shows, and, um, and yeah, all y'all out there, I'm talking about Lima and David St. Dennis, Jordy Scow, the partner brothers, Alex and Austin, y'all just doing a big pop on the for me. Woo! Go team! Go MBG! Go Bofas! Go Rant and Rave! Go Popcorn Panel! Go Dugout Crew! Go David 3000 Network! Woo! So yeah, there's that right there. Other than that, that's just about that just about wraps it up. This is gonna be my my thing over here. Whenever I want to send a big special shout, shout out to somebody or anything like that, I do my little pom pom shake. Woo! But anyway, that does about it. That, that's about it. Just to recap, I'm on highest from my radio show, Captain's World. 
I'm going to be giving it the Tiller Tournament series another another shot. Again, special shout out for, for Merrick Wimmer, Merrick Wimmer's Yanks of 1977 for semi-inspiring this. Um, I got uh, some a plan, uh, uh, season four plans of Captain's Arcade, including finishing the story. But as far as um, the hundred, the uh, hundred subscriber special is concerned, one thing I was considering was for those of you that have been watching, um, that were watching my web series, as far as NBA Lives '95 through '98, I've uh, between the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive and this the SNES I'm four and four overall I scored I scored one win and one win and three losses on the Sega Genesis and I scored three wins and one loss on the SNES so while I was thinking is that maybe I can turn one of those losses into a win or a series of games of um turning all those losses into wins but um like i said i can't promise you that because i got a lot of other things on my mind right there my i got a lot of my plate as of now as of uh the time of this recording but this is just something to think about and i want to take captain's arcade to the next level thanks to the master class set by kev on stage and i'm behind on that due to the obvious but anyway just that that's my update for the um for Captain's RK, the channel, and uh, as far as the future is concerned. And so with that, I bid you adieu for now. Until we meet again, and um, hope you enjoyed the rest of the season, season three. I can, I got a feeling that season four is going to be even better. And for now, I bid you adieu. Until we meet again, maybe say goodbye.